what's up guys i hope you guys are doing well it's the chill scrub got another video today today i'm going to be talking about how social media influencers do not care about you whatsoever uh, i'm going to go ahead and make this disclaimer not every social media influencer is bad not all of them uh, are just trying to take a dollar out of you there are a lot of good social media influencers but the bad ones tend to get the most notoriety and the biggest following i'm not here to expose anybody it's just my thoughts on what i've been seeing lately uh, a quote from the bible definitely comes to mind when i think of this uh, don't worship false idols you know beware of false false prophets you know uh, that saying definitely comes to mind and i want a lot of people to be very cautious when they're dealing with these social media influencers a lot of these people are you know uh they're recycling a lot of information. If you definitely look at this whole red pill manosphere, um, I would say kosher. I would say that you will definitely see a lot of recycled information. Nobody's bringing any nuance or any context to the conversation. They're using it to get a quick buck. Uh, the original video was going to be loneliness with men, but it kind of dives more into social media more than it does with loneliness with men because social media is causing the loneliness of men and going with this whole red pill thing a lot of it is recycled rehashed and reused information i'm not saying that it's all wrong but a lot of the time not just with the red pill but just in general a lot of people especially social media influencers they tend to uh tell a whole bunch of lies but sprinkling enough truth where the average person will not do the research and go look at what happens or they count on the fact that a lot of people are gullible and they lack life experience so they're just going to take whatever the person says for face value a lot of these people are preying on especially lonely people and their sensibilities knowing that they're insecure about certain things like the gym for example a lot of people will say oh yeah everything will be fixed if you just go to the gym that is not the case at all if you watch any red pill manosphere thing the first thing they say for men is to go to the gym that's not at all if you look at modern culture when it comes down to women the first thing they tell you is you don't need a man so forth and so forth but that is not true at all a lot of these people are selling you lies even when it comes down to the celebrities that you that you listen to on a day-to-day -day basis especially when it comes down to women you could take a model like beyonce or a singer like beyonce and you would swear with things that she says that she's living that lifestyle but if you look at the average woman lifestyle and you look at beyonce it couldn't be any more different she has billions of dollars a billion dollar husband and kids most of these women nowadays are single lonely getting pumped and dumped and miserable same thing with men a lot of these dudes say yeah just go hit the gym bro keep working hard bro yeah that's that's great and all but what about the work and going charisma part a lot of it is just selling you one part they don't give you the entire package a lot of these social media influencers it's just like when it comes down to the hospital there's no there's no profit in the cure. They're going to give you a little slap on, a, give you a little bandaid here and there, something that'll, you know, mitigate the pain just a little bit. But you're going to keep coming back. It's the same thing with the church. If you're a religious person, especially if you're a Baptist person, like I used to be when I was a kid, you would definitely understand what I'm saying. When you go to church, they give you a feel-good message, and it feels great when you first go there. And after a while, you're like, "Yeah, this this sounds good and all," but real problems are happening to me in real time, and these feel-good messages are not doing it. But for a lot of people, it's just a dopamine hit. Especially like when I was saying with religion, it's just a dopamine hit. A lot of people don't want to admit it, but I would be the first one to tell you. I think social media is just as worse than any kind of uh drug or substance that i cannot say because it's youtube on the market right now when everybody is so-called depressed or have anxiety or any kind of mental instability or issues their first coping me mechanism tends to be social media which is extremely odd because when i was growing up in the 90s what we did was go outside and you know we uh had a lot of social interaction and I noticed with the lack of social, social interaction and the lack of going outside, there's a lot of people that now uh, spring up with these whole depression, anxiety, uh, antisocial behavior, so forth and so forth. I'm like, well, yeah, you're glued to your phone and you're not getting enough sunlight. 
I was talking with a friend of mine and I also look at him. I'm like, uh, he is not the, I wish he was the abnormal. I wish he was the outlier, but he's not. He's actually the norm. A lot of gullible men that seek advice uh, and they're really good dudes, you know. And for the average person, they, you know, or a lot of these social media influencers, they're just going to take advantage of them. Yeah, like I said before, just sell them something, you know, just sell him the idea that, yeah, you can get a girl or sell him the idea of, yeah, if you just do X, Y and Z, this this will get you exactly what you want as if there's just one simple way or you can look at social media influencers and look in their lives and you like there is no way because a lot of the average people including myself i even i fall into the trap and i'm aware of it there is no way i can live up to the lifestyle that i see on social media instagram youtube uh twitter it doesn't matter there's just no way i can live up to that not even the people that's posting that stuff can live up to it because once you see a lot of these instagram models exposed or a lot of these influence exposed you like there's he's not living that kind of lifestyle what the biggest problem with me because i like to use me when i'm making my videos even with the whole influencer thing uh the biggest problem is the whole comparison that's the part that makes everyone miserable i don't care what status you think you are what words of affirmation that you give to yourself if you look at social media long enough you become miserable i'm going to keep using myself as an example when it comes down to the gym right i would be in what you would call the the, the, the fitness community or gym community whatever you want to call that uh if I look at social media long enough with the people and the bodies that I see, because I'm a natural lifter, I don't use any kind of performance enhancing drugs or anything like that. I would feel like crap because I was like, there's no way I could ever get an aesthetic like that. Now, I'm not saying that I'm disappointed in my body. Quite frankly, I'm proud of myself. I worked really hard to get it. But in the back of our minds we're going to always compare ourselves to the next person just like when it comes down to the people that want to live these lavish lifestyles you have people that are doing relatively well for themselves that are talking about they have social anxiety and depression and i'm like you're doing just fine you got uh, a person that really cares about you you got a stable income you have stable housing and you're sitting there looking at well i can't take trips or i can't do this and i can't do that And the same people that are giving you the advice, oh, you could just do this and they'll show you the lifestyle that you want. It's like dangling a carrot in front of you. You just keep chasing it and chasing it. And you just get miserable. You keep going down the rabbit hole. To me, I find it relatively annoying. It, it was to the point where I would try to distance myself from social media as much as, po as, much as possible. And as this channel, as I make this channel, I want to make a commitment to never be like those people that do that. A lot of the things I see, I want to show y'all the good and bad. I want y'all to see the good and bad, not not just me always doing great. Like you're seeing my workouts right now. This is the reason why I, I started this. I'm like, well, I don't want to be those guys, one of those those influencers that says, hey, just go to the gym, bro. And they'll show you the highlights of it. They don't show you the hard work. They don't they don't actually show you like the really hard stuff the day by day or the stuff that actually sucks. I want to tell you it all. I want to tell you the good and the bad, especially with me, too, because I'm just like you. I'm, I'm no better than you. I'm no worse than you. We, we all in the same boat. But a lot of people get this this false misconception that. uh that social media is their friend. A lot of people end up building para, parasocial relationships with these people off the internet that they have never met. And uh, they start getting entitlement issues. And I had to snap myself out of that. I'm like, I'm not entitled to these people's time. I'm not entitled to anything from them. And I would like to tell you as a person who is, uh, let's say you're watching a, a Twitch streamer or a YouTuber, or you really like this person, you really uh, vibe with their message please separate the message from the messenger yeah a lot of people say good things on the internet and they are shitty people in real life or let's try to take our emotions out of it and say because we don't like the way this person uh is or an emotional standpoint that means their uh, message must be invalid i noticed this uh as a social experiment that i've been doing with my channel a lot of the times uh i would say something and I just want to see if people will pay attention to it. And then I will watch a, uh, a high level streamer or whatever say the exact same words with the exact same cadence. And they will act like it's an awe inspiring moment. And because they're fooled by the glitz and the glamour. 
and I'm, I'm not saying that you don't have to like that you should hate anything that's glamorous or anything like that but a lot of us are not realistic you know especially y'all should be scared with this whole ai movement going going uh it's only going to get progressively worse right i remember growing up in the 90s you know when i talked to women uh in the early 2000s as well when i asked the average girl what she wanted she just wanted to do that was you know had a stable job you know not atrocious or facially challenged good enough you know average now now you have women thinking that having six figures six pack chiseled body and essentially doing everything is average no that's that's not average at all that's above average so above average is now average and you know uh being the top one percent is just you know slightly above average and men do the exact same thing so i'm not going to sit there and lie act like we don't dudes lie and say they 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 don't like the women with the bbls and they don't they love natural women I'm like that's that's cap we let us stop that right now that is absolute cap that's a whole bunch of bullshit because if that was the case and every man denounced any woman that was wearing wearing these bbls and wearing this makeup and all this other stuff and having these nasty attitudes they would stop it goes to show you again social media play they only give us and this is the this is the biggest take from this video if you don't take nothing else from this video if you made it this far i'm so happy for you thank you so much social media is only giving us what they think that we want and by giving attention to all the negative things in life we are telling them that hey please keep pumping out more negative content keep please keep uh, pumping out more content that doesn't suit us and not it's not, it's not good for us at all but uh as you can see i'm at uh weighted ab crunches you know when you see these i'm at the end of the video i did a lot of rambling this time uh it was off the cuffs so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you next time